Grant uh, is the only sport helicopter, per se, on the floor of HAI 2008. It's nice to see that Rotorway is not only staying around, but seems to be growing. Can you talk a little bit about the A600? Absolutely. Well, we initially announced the introduction or intention for the A600 one year ago at HAI. We introduced the first A600 at the uh, Oshkosh Air Show in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. When we originally looked at the A600, we figured that the market required a true sport helicopter that was affordable across the board. And we have actually gone to that end and started certification offshore in South Africa. Right now, uh, we have sold 39 of our aircraft in South Africa, of which a significant number have come off our South African production line where they are factory assembled. The factory assembled ship it takes about eight weeks to put together from start of order, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It's finished off in special jigs, aligned, and doesn't look unlike the uh, McDonnell Douglas uh, MD500 production line. But we are looking to certify and hopefully are going from mid-2009 to be certified. Aero TV is brought to you by... Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. In the meantime, what happens to the kit business? We are still supporting the kit business and are looking at continuing our Exec 162F. Many people have asked for it. We were considering stopping production on the 162, but we feel that it is such a popular ship and has been out there, and with a few uh, improvements to it, one, the glass cockpit arrangement, two, the new engine controllers, we were looking at whether we continue or bring it back, as well as continue the Talon A600 production line so that people can actually have two different aircraft. The uh, price point, of course, being our strongest factor, along with features, I do not believe specifically at this show that there's anything that comes close to matching us. Well, that being, uh, that being the case, what is the price point on these aircraft right now? A kit as you see it right here, glass cockpit, uh, dual fader control, every single nut, bolt and rivet that you see on this aircraft, except for paint and the radio, is $97,700. The kit helicopter industry, the sport helicopter industry is... Well, let's just say the history is not the greatest in the world. It had its problems. There have been some extraordinary machines that have been out there for quite some time. In many cases, they were uh, the forerunners of uh, certification projects. But we also had a number of real embarrassing uh, bits of history over the years. We won't, I mean, we can talk about the Mini 500 debacle till we're blue in the face. But somehow, above and beyond all that, and the black eye that the industry has gotten, Rotorway has survived. Why? It's due to two things. One, an absolutely amazing and awesome team that we have at the factory. And two, the fact that Rotaway, everybody criticizes what we could be doing to improve and, and uh, make this helicopter into a much bigger, larger, more powerful ship. Well, like the big guys, we take our time, we test, we test, and we test again, and we make sure that the stuff that we introduce to the market is actually airworthy and really ready for flight. A lot of the guys that have come out, you mentioned Mini 500, there have been a few of them, but guys like BJ Schramm, who was the founder of this company, unfortunately killed himself uh, in his helicycle. Another really nice invention, but not quite ready for a sophisticated pilot yet. So there are a lot of aircraft out there that are in the experimental category that don't quite fit up to what um, true manufacturers consider a complete aircraft. We consider ourselves a full aircraft that happens to come in 71 discrete projects. And you know, you can put it together yourself or you can spend $135,000 and buy it already assembled from our South African subsidiary. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own, and easy-to-operate, very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. 
Now, back to Aero TV. What kind of customer do you have? Who is it that uh, eschews going out and buying a quote-unquote certificated helicopter, or for that matter, a used helicopter on the market right now, and decides to go for either a kit or for the talent? A lot of the people that are here, specifically at this show, which is, as you know, is probably the premier uh, large helicopter show around, look at us and save value for money. People try and get into the helicopter business and it's exceptionally expensive to do it right now on any of the present uh, helicopter makes and models out there, including uh, Frank Robinson's products. I just wish to talk to that for a second. Frank Robinson's products are awesome. He is probably, um, whether you like or dislike his helicopter, he has probably been the single largest influence on the growth of this industry as we see it today. And hopefully we will be able to follow in his footsteps, find a few good pointers from him, and realize that affordability is everything. People want to get into it, but they have to get in when they can afford it, at an age they can afford it. We say, yes, you can afford a helicopter, but a 22-year-old that wants to get into a helicopter can't afford the two, three hundred bucks an hour and the 1,200 hours it takes to let these guys get you step into a, into a turbine helicopter. We fill that niche. We allow you to get in, acquire your license, get certified, and be experienced in an environment that is full dual control, real FADIC environment, glass cockpit, at a price that is less than half of our nearest competitor. What about maintainability? Uh, it's one thing to own a helicopter, it's another to keep it in the air. You know, even the big guys have maintenance issues. The difference between us and them is we are affordable to maintain just because of the cost of our parts. A blade set for most helicopters here costs more than this entire helicopter. Mm -hmm. We've got this down to the pennies on the dollar and we don't like to say we're cheap, we're not. We're just affordable. There's nothing cheap about helicopters, <laughs> let's face it. Our theory of course is aviation. If you're going to get into aviation, the old saying, how to make a small fortune in aviation, start with a large one. We don't believe that. We have had guys that come back, we've had people that have bought three, four, five of our helicopters. We have guys that are, that are flying them um, in other countries as schools. We've got many, many farmers that are using them as crop sprayers, as, uh, as workhorses, as tools. If you think of this as your farm tractor, every day you should clean the tractor, take off the mud, put it away, make sure the fuel is clean, and off you go. If you do the same thing with our helicopter, it will last like it's supposed to last. It, it's quite a workhorse for the value for money that you get. And finally, you had mentioned before we started the interview that uh, as a builder, that's what uh, convinced you to get involved with the company. In this day and age, how crazy do you have to be to take over a helicopter company? You know, most people look at the group, my partners, um, why we did this. It's quite simple. If you get a comp company that has this much potential mm -hmm. in this much of a growth market mm -hmm. where people are looking to get into the beautiful machines you see around the show today, mm -hmm. There is no real uh, accessible entry point. Mm -hmm. We are that entry point, and it has been proven again and again that we're still in surviving after 40 years. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the crew that has been around, our average employee has been with the company 12 to 14 years. The knowledge base that's in there and the success of our products, along with, quite simply, the only thing I can say is come to the factory, get in one of our aircraft, come fly, and bring your checkbook because you're going to want one. Well, it's a, it's a hard, uh, hard offer to pass up. I can ask Tech on one more question here. Where do you go from here uh, with the 600 in the works and uh, with such a lineage right now with the original exec? Uh, you've got to be thinking of the future. All I can say is that we never stop innovating. And there are certain partners around this building. One of them who's been amazingly supportive to us is Augusta Westland. Mm -hmm. they have, uh, we are an offset partner of theirs in South Africa and we have had an amazing support and success with the Augusta Westland help. We're going to grow ourselves into a company that is going to specialize and focus on the two-seater training market and make sure that we can give people the growth path into real helicopters. We wish you the best of luck and thank you. Thank you very much for your time.